is up everybody it is currently 4 30 in the morning just about ready and packed up to head to new york city if you guys remember if you don't in last january i went out to la to have a mastermind have a have a great meeting went to tom billy's house uh impact theory all of those good things we do this quarterly this time around we're going to be in new york city tonight i'm going to be having dinner with the man himself gerard Adams GA the man so I'm super excited about that that's not until like 16 hours from now I got a six and a half hour flight from here from San Francisco all the way over to New York um, so it's gonna be a long flight I'm gonna be by myself but you know I got some books with me so that's all that matters so can't wait to take you guys with me today's gonna be a huge day this is gonna be an amazing video and you know I hope that you guys enjoy it hope that you, you guys enjoy the dinner and uh, the meetup with Gerard Adams and all that good stuff so Let's get a move on. Jeez, look how foggy it is out here. It's like Silent Hill. 30 minutes. Alright guys, just got to the airport. Um, I'm surprisingly on time. I actually had to go back home because I forgot my damn wallet. It's funny because of all the things to forget, I ended up forgetting my wallet. Like I could have literally forgot anything else. I had to choose to forget the most important thing. But I'm about to hop on my flight right now. Uh, we're about to get this thing going. Excited, a little tired, trying to get some coffee right now. Two and a half hours by myself. <laughs> you can tell how excited I am. But uh, it's gonna be an amazing day. So let's get things going. I'm like literally the only person here. I'm like 10 minutes behind. It's like 10 minutes before my flight. I'm not sure if I'm not able to get in or not, but I guess you guys will find out. <laughs> Yo guys, I gotta tell you guys a crazy story, okay? So, my flight was at 7 a.m. I missed my flight, so I guess you found out that I actually missed my flight. They told me that they couldn't put me on another flight. Um, you know, I have first class tickets, but they just said there was no seats available for me for upcoming flights. So then they told me, oh, there's a hasn't been, there's one person that hasn't checked in yet for one of their, their seats, their first class seats actually, and another flight that was 50 minutes after. I don't know how this happened, but crazy enough, the person ended up missing their flight too and ended up like basically giving me their seat on the flight. And it's just crazy because I'm like, holy crap, I don't know what, how that happened. Because if I couldn't get on a flight at all, like I would have missed meeting GA today. I would have missed uh, meeting with everybody from the mastermind today, this this evening. Um, and, or I would just come there really, really late. I probably missed dinner, but it, it's crazy. I don't know, how, somebody like missed their flight on a flight like their first class seat and, and I was able to come and, and take their seat on a flight that was just 50 minutes away. It's out of my bag, crazy, bro. so thank the gods. guys just landed here in New York City actually I think we're in the city called Newark which isn't too far from my destination I'm going to Brooklyn right now um, man I think the flight was like five and a half or six hours I kid you not I, I right when I ate that omelet I literally knocked out and I'm not sure if I slept for like three hours straight because <laughs> when I woke up I swear like 30 minutes later the dude was like all right, we only got like an hour and a half left. I'm like, damn, how long was I freaking sleeping for? But I'm glad to be out here right now. I'm uh, not late by any means to get to my destination, but I'm super excited to meet with the homies, meet with Daniel, um, and get this evening going, so. Lift ride coming through, we about to take off. So my Uber driver, I was, I got into the car with the Uber driver. We were driving to the destination and he, destination, and he accidentally canceled the ride mid-drive and now I have, he had to take me back to the airport because he said he couldn't take me and now I'm trying to find another ride. Man, like so many things are just happening today, man. The world is against me, but I'm fighting. Just got into my second Uber ride, my boy Charles. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, <laughs> Hey, brother. 
<laughs> Shout out to my Uber driver, Akon. <laughs> hey, man, welcome to New York, yo. Thank you, man. brother. Uh, Have bro. a nice day. Thanks, man. Uh, Much love, brother. <laughs> what up, fam? Hey, we both got here at the same time. From a similar place, huh? What, what did you find, bro? To JFK? JFK. My family, we have just arrived to our destination. Yeah! It's late! We just arrived! Look at this beautiful city. What up, what up? We made it! Crazy! What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Made it. Yo, I made it. Yeah. What's up, man? Good, bro. Thank you. Okay, so pray for me. Yo, we doing a beer. Yo, what up, bro? How are you? Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, bro. Good to see you, man. Hey, Dan. I see you. Oh yes! Oh yeah! Content boys! <laughs> it's all about oh, the content! Yeah. This is like Inception now. <laughs> who will who will keep first? So this is where I'm going to be sleeping. There's like four floor, four or five floors to this place? This is the outside view. Super nice. You know this place like reminds me of like Spider-Man, like the city. Reminds me of Spider-Man for some reason. Ooh. I feel like if you're walking around with this, you're true, you're really dedicated. Yeah, you're for sure dedicated. I feel like it's perfectly acceptable in LA because I see like three people in LA. Oh, it's Like very... in the 7 Eleven. <laughs> so we're just chilling right here in this place right now. There's like, how many floor, stories is this place about? I think it's like four or five. It's like four or five stories. Never been in anything like it. You've been in anything like this like before? I have, but I live out here, but. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to tell them all. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy. It's nice out. Check this out, it's so nice. Man. So we're just waiting for Gerard to get here right now. Uh, dinner's at like 7 p.m. It's like 6.50 right now, so we're just waiting for him to come through. Super excited to meet him. Um, I got him a gift too, and you guys will see what kind of gift I got him. Hopefully he likes it. You guys know what this book is. This is my mentor Daniel's book. I talk about it all the time. So it just came out in paperback edition. It was on hardcover since for the last year. It just came out today, right? It, it, it hasn't even hit stores until tomorrow. That's crazy. So, if you guys like the paperback instead of the hardcover, and you were picky about it, you can get it now. Yeah. Some people are like, it's too heavy, it's too hard. I don't like it. I want it softer. <laughs> well, here's your chance, guys. Here's your chance. It's softer now. <laughs> Welcome to New York. City dreams. What? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yo, what's Derek, up, man? Derek, man. Oh, nice to meet you. you. Yeah, nice to meet you. For film crew. <laughs> And then everybody else has cameras. So there's no possibility that we'll miss this. Uh, we got the crew down there. And when I'm 65 years old, someone's gonna have a copy of this footage and I'll be able to remember it. That's why I'm doing this, just so that I don't forget. So we got filming down there. We're filming down there. Filming up here. Filming up here. And, and this, th I'm filming. You're filming. There's filming up there. There's filming up there. And there's a drone overhead, you can't see it. <laughs> there's actually three drones in the house right now. We have three drones. This is it. Yo, what's going on everybody? Gerard Adams just rolled up to Brooklyn to meet up with my good, good friend. Someone that I admire and I respect. Someone that is honorable, has been completely selfless, has been a part of my mastermind. I take ownership and just served our group in so many ways. So I had to come back and serve for his mastermind. And I'm excited, you know, because I really want to dive in. I want to get to know all of the different leaders that are inside and kind of just work with them a little bit on what it means to be like a world-class influencer and not in respects of like the followers and likes and all the stuff that we kind of see outside. I mean, we get overwhelmed by social media, but more so what it means to truly be a real leader and influence the world and truly make impact in the world, transform people's lives and do it while creating an abundance into your life, giving you lifestyle and the freedom that a lot of these different, you know, influencers talk about but you know the people that are really want to do it at extremely a high level not because they want to get rich quick or they want their first lamborghini because they genuinely feel that they have a purpose a burning desire inside to leave a legacy to change people's lives to embrace the gift that they have and really take that and just you know you know share it with the world find their community build their tribe you know and uh and be a leader for them and and inspire ultimately because that's the goal that's why we're all here so i'm excited to get into my mythology and just just serve here answer questions man i'll see you guys inside happy birthday dear daniel happy birthday to you Oh shit, it's a big 
Yes. Not California. California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay. Thank you. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday. Guys. This kicks awesome. off. This kicks off your birthday. Birthday, birthday celebration week, week and next week too. Month. So happy birthday. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. I love you, man. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I love all you guys. Thank you for being here. I uh, yeah. I don't know. What, I don't know what to say. Have a cupcake. Start <laughs> by. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so grateful and blessed. Uh, you know, every morning. I have so much gratitude in my heart. You're leading with your heart. Like, you really do start to manifest. Like, I, I believe in manifestation. I, I've, I tell people when they start working with me, like, yo, the craziest things are gonna happen. I think becoming a philanthropist has, has really opened my eyes to, you know, for me, you know, there's this huge, huge goal of understanding how to create the shift in consciousness when it, in regards to technology. Studying everything from both sides, both from the side of Elon Musk and bringing people to Mars and AI and what that's going to be doing to our, you know, to humanity. If money did not exist, what would we do? How would you take, and what's really going through my mind is, is this, this, right? So like you have a special gift. She has a special gift. You have a special gift. You have a gift. You have a gift. We all have special gifts. I want to write a book. I've been like holding off on that but I really want to take some time to step back and, and take the time to become an, an author and write, my, take my words and actually put them out on paper and have my first book. Yo, G, you're gonna feel like I got you a gift. So, you know, I told you you're the swaggiest entrepreneur. 2018? Uh, yeah. I saw you with the off white ones. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, so bam, I had to get you an off white shirt. No way, son. What? Uh, Fuck yeah, bro. One of the gotcha, best gifts in 2018. Yeah, fam. For sure. So, Virgil, I need you on Leaders Create Leaders Season 4. Tag Virgil. Tag Virgil. Off white. Yeah. Love it, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Much love, man. So guys, today was an amazing day. I'm about to close out the vlog here. Hope you guys loved the video. It was such an honor meeting GA, the man himself, um, you know, um, being able to spend time with the people out here, my homies, my brothers and my sisters um, in New York City. We're actually in Brooklyn right now. It's actually kind of raining, but I'm out here right now. Just want to close out this vlog for you guys. Um, man, it's so awesome to be with everybody again, see Daniel. Um, it's going to be an amazing next couple of days. I'm here in Brooklyn. Well, actually, I'm here just like in New York City or Brooklyn. I don't know all of these. I know these they are called boroughs and stuff, but um, I'm out here until Friday. So, Lawrence, if you could put a photo of my hash, uh, my, my handle for Instagram. Guys, follow me on Instagram. Um, I will be posting the details of what I'm planning to do for Friday because that's when the t that's actually the day I'm planning to do the meet. Okay, I'm planning to do the meet on Friday so uh, we could all connect while I'm out here in the East Coast for the first time. Would love to be able to connect with you guys. I don't want to leave uh, you know the East Coast without saying what's up to you guys and getting to know some of you. Um, so yeah, Friday, I'm not exactly sure on the time, but definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not already so you guys can have the details on when I'm going to do this meetup. But I guess that's it. So I'm going to close out here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog for today and being able to see GA speak some fire a little bit um, and all that good stuff. So today's been a rough day. You know, I lost, freaking left my wallet at home and then my, I, I missed my flight and then all of these things happened. And then my Uber driver, he accidentally canceled my ride. Jeez, just a lot of things happened. But, you know, at the end of the day, grateful for these moments. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing day, amazing week. And, uh, Let's close this week out strong. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, subscribe if you haven't. And other than that, see you guys in the next video. Love you guys so much. Peace out.